So on this set, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There's more candles in there that are not lit yet, but there is 25 candles. I had to cover this up. This is, we're actually filming in the daytime, uh, which is harder just because of uh, the logistics of this, but that's how it's working right now. In the set, we also have essential oils. We have essential oils, books, uh, candles, all shapes, all sizes. And my makeup right now is just foundation. Um, but I think we'll stick to just foundation because I have facial hair. I did not want to clean shave and I would rather just put makeup on top of that. So that's just my own laziness. But I'm excited to film. We'll film in about uh, in an hour. I'm just waiting for my actor and my filmographer to show up and then we'll start. Good deal. Hi, this is Gudgeon. I played Gudgeon, the guy who needed therapy. And um, yeah, I'm here for my post interview. What was your favorite moment in the scene? What was the one part that you loved a lot? I think my favorite part was definitely storming out. I mean, it was just, like, I can't, can't believe I even showed up. You know, when I initially got this part, uh, my people sent over a writer saying that I would get uh, gummy worms, licorice, uh, a, a bottle of Pinot Grigio. Like, I had the everything. I was even supposed to have a driver bring me here because it's so early. I mean, tell Hall's like, be here at 11 o'clock. Um, but then I talked to him yesterday and he's like, yeah, none of that happened. So being the professional I am, I showed up and gave a great performance. So I was so happy to finally storm off because that wasn't acting. That was me for real. Wow. <laughs> Dr. Mueller was give, giving me the, the instructions on how to use the candle. I mentioned that you take the candle out and light the wick. I kept seeing take the candle out and light the wick. And I'm just like, what is the metaphor going on here? <laughs> But yeah, so that's for your apparatus. So yeah, <laughs> that, that I guess that honestly that's the part where I had to, I had to keep holding back the laughter because I'm like, man, this doctor keeps pulling, whipping it out. <laughs> <laughs> and in the debate of who are best, I mean, I think we could all agree with the audience that it was Sahir. It was me. Uh, <laughs> but who wore it best? That was him. Oh, you know what? We need to. Well, we need to put it out in a poll on like who. <laughs> yeah, because I, I was just about to say. And Let the me poll, do that. And the poll results show. Yeah. Yeah. Ninety to ten. <laughs> it is <a> here. <laughs> hey, this is Mario Lopez, and we're here with E Entertainment <laughs> interview. Oh, wow. Always had a crush on you. <laughs> oh, thanks, to, thanks, Taha. So we were here uh, interviewing the the main star of Aroma Ther Therapy. Uh, Taha Galani, and he played, what was your role again, Taha? I was Dr. Eve Mueller, and I was the aromatherapist. In real life, I'm obsessed with candles, so I just thought that I would integrate that into a script where this person is, and you know, Bath and Body Works, is it Bath and Body Works? What, what, what has a, the aromatherapy uh, the aromatherapy line? Bed, Bath and Beyond? Bed, Bath and Beyond. I get confused between the two. Okay. Yeah, so Bed Bath & Beyond. No, it's not Bed Bath & Beyond. My mom gets confused with it, body too. Works. Is it Bath & Body Works? Where is it? There's too many bees. I think it's Bath & Body Works. It's not Bed Bath & Beyond, because Bed Bath & Beyond is the bigger store that has more stuff. Yeah, like... Okay, that anyways, happened. now that we've established that, <laughs> Bath & Body Works, yeah. So, you know, mm -hmm. I think we've all had the different products, at least women in general, have had aromatherapy products, the eucalyptus lotions and different things and I've had that as well mm -hmm. and I, I found it really interesting that there was an aromatherapy line which is supposed to be therapeutic you know you put it on you use it on your body and then it's also supposed to you know you know be therapeutic and serve that purpose so I thought why not just create a therapist whose sole, sole purpose is to you know expand some of these these products and use them to her benefit to cure her patients um not cure I should say but to treat her patients this is a good wig. I got this from Wig World in Houston for $65. So I better be using this again because I did not just drop that much money. Wow, so uh, when you invest in a character, you really do go all in, Taha. Huh? Yeah, although the candles are from the dollar store, so. <laughs> <laughs> so can you speak about um, your influences, influences here? Because clearly, you know, yeah. you sound different now than what you did on scene. Yeah, because I'm, Who I'm you? talking about my character, not <laughs> playing my character. Uh, Who's the character from? So the character is based off of Moira from the show Schitt's Creek. 
um, that is on Netflix. I highly recommend it. It's really funny. And then it's also based off of Kristen Wiig and also a German that I've learned from watching uh, or watching impersonations of the German Chancellor and Angela Merkel. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for giving me some time. Thank you. Me from here. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And if you want to like go out for dinner or something, you can do that. Would you wear the wig? Do you want me? <laughs> <laughs> and okay. cut.